Call and Care Communicate Season 2, Episode 8. It's the final scene of the last episode said, Bob, the field trip arc has just begun. Excuse me. Now, first story is when uh, the whole class was getting ready to board the train uh, that will take them to Kyoto. Okay. Of course, a field trip, uh, educational field trip yun. Ngayon, natuloy yung, natuloy yung groupings. So, yung barkada nila, tatano na Jimmy at Komi nagkahiwalay. Komi went to one group, na Jimmy went to another group, and of course, tatano had his own group. So, Chinek, well, bilang class president, he has to, uh, uh, he has to perform his functions during uh, during a crucial time. Ngayon, pagdating sa group niya, it happened to be, uh, yung mga kasama niya, nasore and katai. So, agad-agad sinabi niya, I'm in trouble. <laughs> now, second story. Eto na, yung sightseeing mismo. They have this tour guide we're in. No matter, no matter what she says or does, hindi siya talaga pinapansin ng klase. <laughs> Kamawa naman. The bit that struck her the most was, well, naturally, si Tadano at si Komi. So, medyo, she was keeping tabs on these two. In one moment, hindi niya mahanap yung dalawa. So, syempre magtataka siya. Well, it's her risk. The entire class is her responsibility kasi she's the tour guide. So, yeah. Pag may, pag may nangyari ang kahit isa sa kanina, siya, siya sigurado mananagot. So, hanap siya. She, she found Komi and Tadano um, doing, doing a sightseeing of their own. Kasi, uh, Tadano got fascinated at the overall architecture of this one temple. Yung scaffolding daw eh, talagang, uh, it can hold several people every day without collapsing. So talagang, <clears throat> he was, he was feeding this info to Komi. Mukhang napansin ni Tata na, um, na medyo, uh, siguro, inasyon niya na medyo boring na kay Komi to. But Kom Komi instantly wrote on a notebook and said, I like it. Then, tapos medyo mukhang, uh, mukhang akala niya na, na misinterpret ni Tata na biglang sulat siya kagad. The old buildings. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. So, so, nakita lahat ng ito ng tour guide. Kinilig siya. So, toy story, they were, everybody's getting ready to, um, getting ready for the public bath. Ito na si Yamai. Umira na naman ang pagka-stalker. She wants to touch Komi's boobs. <laughs> Alright? Her, oh, Komi's opais. Ngayon, Si uh, Onimini at si Agari Si Onimini kasi may napansin kay Agari Na oh, they, Both na Agari kasi And Komi uh, Have yet to undress For, for five minutes talagang Hindi nila magawa So in-approach sila ni Onimini And come on I just said come on guys come on, it's, it's a puppet dad, it's okay Eh, ito si Agari Talagang takot Dahil um, she has been teased about her own boobs before. Uh, ano yun? Ano ba tawag niya? Um, mega meatballs daw. Eh, well, sinabi naman ni Onimine. Something to this effect. I envy you, Agari, because I'm flat as a board. Flat-chested kasi si, si Onimine. At yun, yun talaga nakakainggit daw yung yung hubog ng katawan ni ni Agari. So, well, Agari took this, well, Agari was ecstatic when she heard this. Well, it's obvious, well, if, you, if you've seen the episode, it's obvious that for the first time, meron na sexy hanky Agari. So, okay. That gave her the confidence to undress. Ayun. Nakita yung boobs. Eh, bigla na lang sinabi ni Unimini. Mega meatballs. <laughs> On the side of the boys, of course, uh, siyempre, yung 
tatlong uh, yung tatlong yung barkada ng ninja boy alright they are actually scared of katai yes every ganun eh ganun, ganun. muscle head talaga eh laki na katawan eh tapos kasama pa si Nasore alright who's a, the certified narcissist nagkasa nagsama pa tong dalawang to so now in the public bath uh, everyone admires um, everyone admires Katais overall physique talagang talagang macho mat matuto nila talagang barao katawan eh si Nasore wala basura okay basura sa rito then as they were cleaning up kasi tapos na inoferan siya ni inoferan ni Nasore si Katain ng isang parang uh, what's called this parang after after bath na lotion sabi niya Katain gamitin mo to then out of the blue sinabi ni, Nasar, ni Nasore Andres <laughs> gumunod na kaya si Katain tapos na was actually taking pictures of Okay, of his, of his, uh, of, of these two. Eh, napansin ni Nasore. Uy, tanda lang. You take pictures? Oh, sige. Pose kami. So, pose, pose yung dalawa. Akala mo. Akala mo, DX eh. Triple H and Son Michaels. Parang ganun eh. Ganun yung dating. Sumana na yung tatlong, yung tatlong, uh, yung, uh, yung barkada ni Ninja Boy. So, sa kanila silang ganun. Ganun. Posing, posing. Okay. Against the Kyoto Sky, against the Kyoto Night Sky pa. So, Okay, nagdina na kasi tata na. Uy, ano mo ba ito na lang? Ano gano'n? Yan, yan. Tapos medyo, gano'n na pa ng konti. Yan, yan, yan. Yan, gumagano'n na. So, until such time na now, medyo, nakita sila ni Komi. And, and Komi had that space out look on her face. Talagang, talagang nasaksa. Final story naman. Apat. Najimi decided to uh, to sleep with the girls. Well, he can well, he can sleep with the boys or the girls, but he is gay. Okay? Openly gay, tong, openly gay ang mo ang nato. Then the declaration of pillow fight. The rules are simple, daw. Last man standing. <laughs> so bigam pa na tagan. Oh, libara na maunan. Then after after a few minutes, na pamaan na si Komi ng unan. Well. Ay, sabi ni, well, kasiguro ni Komi. Ah, ganun ha? Oh, sige, sumahin na rin si Komi. So, this, um, this, this one pillow fight, um, brought that smile out of her face. So, it means only one thing. Talagang, nag enjoy siya sa, sa field trip na to. And particularly, particularly this pillow fight. Eventually, well, final scene na actually, so the last two standing are Yamai and Najimi. So magbabato. So sa wai siya magbabato nsa na biglang dumating yung ganin ng class advisor para si tayin sila. Oh, patatatatat into their beds. Unare tulog. <laughs> but but while that one was happening, Komi um what's called this broke out into a smile again. So, Patreon, Bigo, Malaka Lifestyle. We're gonna break this episode down now. Critics soft style. Face! Um! I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna make this short and speed about the pacing. No complaints. Typical, typical slice of life feels. Vintage comedy pacing. Never a dull moment because of it. Kaya, it, was, it, it's, it wasn't too slow, it wasn't even too fast. So talagang, bawat story ah, kasi four stories eh, bawat story ah, may iintindihan mo talaga kung ano yung nangyayari sa episode na to. Yun na. Flow naman. Biggest, I'm gonna, I'm going to state four gear shifts per story. Biggest gear shift of the first one. Was when, uh, was when, was during the time when uh, Tadano saw his groupmates, si Nasore at si Katai. All right, that gear shift actually made me made me laugh. Why? 
kasi you you got a narcissist you got um uh, a big uh, a, a, a big mountain of a, a mountain of a guy with low self esteem and and uh, and an ordinary guy who who knows how to make people that's not a, so talagang contrasting personalities ito in one in one group and Tadoro has to deal with this so this leadership was also a sign of things to come later on in the episode kaya leadership ito biggest leadership naman of the second story was when um yeah its own final scene we're in napanood lahat ng tour guide yung yung conversation nila nila Komi at Tadano while they were uh, while uh, yun nga while Tadano was making his architectural observations alright no brainer there guys kasi wow okay, marunod din palang marunod din palang kiligin itong itong tour guide na to so she found it romantic alright for me that's a gear shit kasi not only do not only do their classmates little by little notice the um the deepening relationship between these two it's also people outside of their circle ayan particularly this tour guide uh, third story's biggest gear ship was was when Nasore um realized that Tadano was taking was taking pictures of uh him and Katae admiring just admiring each other's physiques. Again, no brainer. Bakit? Because it led to that funny moment that concerned Komi. <laughs> Final gearship of the episode. Uh, the, the biggest gearship of the fourth story was when Komi got hit by that pillow. Accidentally, syempre. Kasi pillow fight eh. Labo-labo eh. That's a no brainer of a gearship, folks. Bakit? Because that's the point of realization for Komi. The way I see it. Um she shouldn't uh she shouldn't be uptight right now. Cause every single one of these girls in the class is close to her now. Most especially si Sila Onimine, si Agari, of course, uh, uh, in a, in a way, see, of course, the Yamai. This gearship will also tell you that, yeah, Komi has taken a another big step here towards um, somewhat alleviating her communication disorder. Because na kikisali na siya sa na kikisali na siya sa kalokohan, eh. alright? Na kikisali na siya sa kalokohan. So it's an improvement. Okay? It's a big. It's a it's a big step for the main pro tag. Okay? That's why I called it the gearship. So these four gear shifts that I saw, first time, right? First time, probably in season two. The second and of course the last one will play a role down the line when we when we're going, when we're going into the final five the four the final four episodes now. Blood lies again, Bigo Patreon Maha lifestyle. Blanchado ang blood. And it's very obvious. All four stories happened within the same day. Okay? Pero, um, it's a joy to watch um, this kind of an episode. Kumaga, the main pro tag um, through, through these stories has um, progress for as progress when it, when it came to our communication disorder of course uh siguro hinugot siya mo ni Tata no para tignan yung yung architectural significance ng ng building na to and yeah it's fascinating ano to mo future architect siya no si si Tata no <clears throat> this is what the plot will make you realize it eh. then of course that pillow fight in which Komi smiled twice in that story. So that's probably the first time. 
right? That's probably the first time. Kaya, well, again, the, trans, the transitioning was impeccable. Talagang, well, if you did not watch this episode story by story, you would easily pass this off as one ep as one story. Ganong kasimles yung uh, yung transitioning ng bawat storya. Ah. Right? Yeah, you, you could consider this. Uh, it all it all happened in the same day. Yeah, maganda baka aplancha ng plot nato. So pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Again! So, Holy Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 8. No brainer, folks. Two thumbs up! I'm not going to um, uh, linger on because we've already... We've already uh, spent 20 minutes worth of... Uh, I've already spent 20 minutes worth of your time, guys. So... We'll just have to wait what's going to happen next in the next in in the next episode. So bye. Well, tutuko na lang natin. So again, Call Me Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Call Me, mga ka Call me, call me, call me. Excuse me. So Patreon and Beagle, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. You should. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, hmm, ito yun naman. Nahihirapan nyo lang yung sarili nyo eh. Eh, panonolin ko na lang kayo hindi mag-chill-chill dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.